Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mike. It's Jasmina. It's Jen. We did a lot of story uh, in the past, a lot of crazy stories about parents and, 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 and uh, kids, and we just did one about how this ungrateful little, mm, you know, he beat up his parents because they bought him a house after he got married that was that he deemed too small. Uh, but let's counter that. Let's let's make let's make some balance in the universe here. So there's this wonderful, awesome lady. She's 43 year old. She's from Anhui Province, and her father, who is uh, 80 some year old, 83 year old, um, had a stroke uh, earlier this year, and he became paralyzed, and no one was able to take care of him. So this lady, she she also has kids of her own. Um, and she, without a second thought, basically just, just quit her job and came to take care of the, um, the father full time. Yeah, and three times a day, she'll like wrap her arms around her father and carry him around outside for like a walk. Yeah, and she like walks him for over an hour every day, like 300 meters. And she even like doesn't even spend that much time for her family because she has to spend time helping her father. So is that, do you guys feel like that's, she's being irresponsible towards her own family no, though? No, I actually feel like this is a very good thing because you know when you're a kid, um, your parents help you, but then when you grow older, you don't really return that favor. So I think that's good that she does that. I feel that's like good. she should find a balance though, yeah. because even though she should devote herself to her father because he's like paralyzed, she also does have children, right? right. So maybe like 70% of the time for her father and 30% for her children, because right now it says that she's like fully devoted to just her right. father. Yeah, yeah, she even like quit her job and yeah. does this full time. And she, it's not even like that's you know, walking her father is not the extent of what she's doing. She's also, um, you know, bathing him. She has to change his diaper. She has to literally do everything for him. Um, I personally feel like this is this is really sweet. Um, yeah. I feel like she's. Uh, I mean, to me, she's, that's she's kind of like an inspiration. Like, I mean, to I mean, I feel like a lot to a lot of people, she should be. This is what Chinese culture teaches, right? Feel little piety yeah. and be kind and, and and take care of your parents. You know, regardless of what deemed necessary mm -hmm. from you. I do I do agree that I mean she has her own family, but also we don't know her circumstance. Mm -hmm. Like like you mentioned, her kids might be older. Um, she might have a husband who also can help care for her kids. Like we don't know her mm -hmm. circumstance, but mm -hmm. she's taking care of her father. I also don't feel like she's you know neglecting her her own family too much because I feel mm -hmm. like she's a really responsible person. That's kind of just me guessing mm -hmm. here. You know I, I think that, I think that's really awesome. Yeah, well I feel like usually when people see their elderly parent like get sick like this, the best thing they would think of is just put them in a home in a nursing home yeah but actually she's just devoting her time which I think is like a very different uh, situation and a new aspect of looking at this you issue. know my initial reaction was like why doesn't she just get him a wheelchair and then I thought about it and I think I don't know much about paralysis but maybe he needs to like move his body around like actually yeah. exercise like she doesn't want him to sit in bed all day so probably she feels like sitting in a wheelchair all day isn't that good yeah either. like if you're sitting in a wheelchair yeah. not really moving either anyway just like live a normal life yeah. because he's even like standing on her own feet and she's like walking him like a real person so I guess she wants him to make a feel like he's like not paralyzed yeah or also could be she can't afford a wheelchair oh that's true I mean I don't know how much a wheelchair costs how much is a wheelchair a lot of uh, netizens have said that she she has been really inspirational and kind of like kind of put their own problems in perspective um, in regards to what she's dealing with and they even dubbed her China's good daughter. That's that's the way in, in Chinese families. I mean, most Asian families is parents take care of you. They get older, you take care of the parents no matter what. And like, I don't feel like there's a concept among Chinese people. Like, like you guys. I mean, Jen, you would never consider like if your parents are older, you would put them in a nursing home. You would never consider no, that, right? They just live. With they me. just live with yeah. you. Mm -hmm. What about you? Um. Well, when my grandma was getting older, at first she was kind of living with us, but then she was really hard to take care of because she had Alzheimer's. But later on, my parents really couldn't like take their time helping her, so they did put her in a nursing home. I don't know, maybe if my family was Asian, maybe something else would happen. Yeah, I feel like that's like, that doesn't, that, <laughs> that concept doesn't ex really mm. exist to us. Do like, they even have nursing homes I'm, I'm sure they do. I don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah, 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 we do. But it's not, I don't feel, I feel like most families, I mean, that's not even an option. I feel like it's just mm. like, you're just gonna live with us no matter what kind of illness you have. We're just gonna take care of you because mm -hmm. you're our parent, and it was like, and I mean, for Chinese, it's kind of crazy because our our timeline uh, in life is basically you live with your parents, 
you marry, then you move out. That's like when you move out. You, you get married, you move out, right? Or you get married and you, your wife moves in with you to your parents' house. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of crazy. So your parents is always part of the equation of, of life there. And then when they get older, um, if you're living separately, then they come live with you. That's that's just so normal for us. Stuck with them forever. <laughs> I mean, can you, can you imagine that? Can you do that? Um. I don't know. I, I have a good relationship with my family, so maybe... I'm sorry, my, my mom and dad watches a lot of my videos. I, I don't know if they're watching this one. <laughs> I can't. I mean, I, I, I cannot. I mean, I live... I don't know, I just... I, I kind of need Yeah, no, fear. I'm someone who can't stand that either. I like living on my own and being independent. Let's say you are you are a wife, a mm. mother. Yeah. You will quit your job, your father's paralyzed, you will quit your job, and you will take care of your father. Mm, I think it would depend on the family situation. Okay, let's mm -hmm. say you're, you're good. You're yeah. good. You can quit. Then I would. Then you would. Yeah. And then you would do the whole diaper thing, the whole walk <laughs> thing. You would have to do all that. Yeah, You'd but I'm okay not sure I'd be as devoted as her. Like, she's just... What do you mean? You, you would do it for like two days and quit? No, I, I wouldn't would... carry him. <laughs> I would, but like she does that three times a day, and she like basically takes her from twenty four seven. I yeah. don't know if I could do that. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's tough. Look, yeah. it's a very tough thing to do, and she's obviously a very strong willed woman. So it's awesome people like that exist to kind of counteract, you know, the the urn that we we reported on yesterday. Yeah. All right, guys, let us know your thoughts. What would you do in her situation? Would you also be as devoted as she is to her father? Thank you so much for watching. See ya. Bye.